Hey, YouTubers, it's Mike again. And, uh, gosh, I've got some interesting information for you today. If you notice the title on this uh, video, the USGS uh, is lying to us. Well, here's our evidence and proof. I hope that uh, you find this interesting, because I certainly did. You know, on the 21st of March, I did a video showing here's how the increases of earthquakes are happening across the uh, globe and I put down a bunch of statistics when I did that I captured this area right here that I'm running the cursor around on all of this I captured off of the USGS site I just went into their earthquake statistics and I pulled it up and uh, and used that thinking that you know it's probably pretty accurate information actually I think it is um, but then I went back today because I was going to see the increases and things and here's what I pulled up this area right here not not these ones on the right there but all of this area right here and this part that you see in red was actually in black but I have put it in red because something has happened these statistics right here all the red ones have been changed um, I marked this over here statistics in red they're the, the changed ones um, what happened to them and here's what's interesting all but one of them went down and the one that went up only went up one earthquake so let's discuss this for just a minute. When I did this original video on the 21st, 7.9 to 7 or 7.0 to 7.9 earthquakes, there was listed 21 of those. At the end of last year, that's what they had listed was 21. Um, now they're showing there's only 19 actually that occurred. Well, what happened to those two earthquakes? Where'd they go? You know, I, I mean. Now, okay, let's say that they downgraded those earthquakes um, and made them six point something or other. Well, if that's the case, then they should be in these statistics right here where it says now 144, and it used to say 151. What happened to those? I mean, the difference here, and I put the differences over here, the difference is six. We're six less, and we're two less on this one. But here's where the big change comes in, okay? Back on the 21st when I did this, we had 1,944.5.0 to 5.9 earthquakes last year. That's what we had, 1,944 of them. Now we're down to 1,752. That's a change. That's a change of 192. Okay, that's crazy. That's nuts. How did we lose 192 earthquakes? I know, they just went off into the oblivion. They're, they don't exist. It really didn't happen. It was an illusion to you that uh, were, that had your house fall down. It, was just, it didn't really happen. It's just a mistake on our books. A good grief. And you know, this is transparency. This is called government transparency. It's so transparent, you can't see them anymore. Works, huh? Anyway. <laughs> This green area here is just what changed. So this this green right here is the same as it was down here, which was the statistics for uh, the 2011 that now no longer exist. Okay, I'm going to give you my own philosophy here, my own theory of what's going on. Um, people are starting to get a little bit wise, and they're going to the USGS site, and they're looking this stuff up, and they're going, oh my gosh, look at the earthquakes all increased during 2010, and look at 2009, they're, or 2011, they're really starting to increase. But actually, now we can just say, well, we haven't done the statistics yet for 2011, so we'll just put zeros in there. I mean, how stupid do they think we are? Actually, we are stupid. We're sheeple because we keep letting them do this. We keep letting them make these types of, of uh, what would we call this, a social manipulation because they want the society to be in, manipulated in the way that they want it to go. Oh, for Pete's sakes, we're crazy, you know. Anyway, let's go back to statistics. Um, I went back and, and I had captured the last month all of the earthquakes, okay, now I really like to only deal with the ones that are five and above, but I captured all of those and I went back through them and I looked at them individually. It's over 1,400, okay? And down here in this purple area is what I came up with, this purple area right here. We had the one big quake, the one great quake that was the nine pointer, and then we had four that were 7.0 or greater. 
And then we had 66. Now get this, 66 earthquakes from March 8th to April 7th of 2011 that were, you know, a 6 point up to a 6.9. There was 66 of those. Okay, in a normal given year, um, I think I can probably pull this down and show you because we did this last time. In a normal given year, we only have 134 of those earthquakes. By the way, they've gone into all these figures right here and they've upped those. They've raised those figures to make the averages look higher so it doesn't look like we're as uh, off as we are. I told you in the last video that this 15 was changed from the time before it was 14 and now it's 15. So anyway folks, uh, just a little heads up here. We cannot absolutely guarantee that what the USGS is telling us is accurate. Um, they're playing with the numbers. So just be careful as you watch this. I believe that the reason they're playing with this nu these numbers is because they know that this uh, brown dwarf star is coming our direction. Um, we've already gone through that video, showed you what was happening there. Uh, go back, look at the information yourself. If somebody can comment on this video and tell me why these statistics are changed and and have some sort of logical uh, explanation that I can agree with and say, oh, well, that's why they did it, then I am fine with it. In fact, I'd love to have a USGS guy call me and tell me, oh, we did it because of this. You know, it isn't going to happen. These guys don't want you to, to see that. Most people will never see what took place in the past. This area down here, they're never going to see it because it's no longer on their screen. It's no longer on their website. But we know. We know they're lying to us. How sad it is that we have an event coming like we have what's coming and we've got this kind of treatment from our government. You think it's bad now? Just keep watching. Anyway, I'll try and keep you updated. I'll try and give you more statistics that uh, show what's happening. And hey, we run across any of this kind of crap, we're going to expose it. Love you guys. Enjoy the YouTubes. Talk to you later. It's Mike. Bye.